out here pressed. I'm just out here pressed and stressed about. Hey, who the men are fucking up me. the game. But now, like, like I just yeah, no one can I, chat to me I, for I at least two years. Don't come to me unless they come to me with a ring. That's my next guy. Me, I'm marrying. Yeah. I don't care. Man, 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 man says you, you come in. You need the Beyonce energy. Yes, I'm coming. I'm here with. I don't the have Beyonce time energy. to be out here single anymore. I'll be single for the rest of my life. Oh, the single is. I'm not doing any of that ish. Yeah. Next one who comes up to me, you better be serious. But you can do situationships for a bit. Nah, situationships don't work. Not even a one night stand. Situationships. Usually when you do a one night stand, you ever you end up with like one or two things. Guilt or an STD. So don't do either. Just get a... What the hell? Guilt? What? You don't use condoms as No, no, no. Guilt and just the fact of like, ugh. I just, I just, I just heard, I just heard STDs. I was like, wait. No, you, nah, you got, no, 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 no. Just, you just like, when you wake up the next day... Do you get day, tested on a regular? No, shut up. I'm not talking about my business all from here. No, 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 you, but I'm just saying, like, in general, like, men don't get tested? I don't trust people. Oh, okay. What's it called? You just wake up the next day, because you know, like, when you're out and you're drinking or whatever, and you look at someone and you're feeling them, and then the next day you're just looking at them like, oh, my God, you are so annoying. Not Do you really. know what I mean? Not really. Not really? Not really. Situationships don't work. I don't really feel... If I'm... The fact that I brought you to my, my place... There's some type of comfortability, but why would it be awkward? Not even know. awkward. You're just be looking at them like. Not really. I cook breakfast well, and everything. Maybe I'm, I'm cool. just. Maybe I'm just an asshole. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I just, I, I don't know. But maybe I, I'm just a difficult maybe, person. Yeah. I, I can accept that. I, I'm cool. I'm just cool. Hey, I'm cool. I know for high. I'm not for high maintenance. I I don't mind cooking breakfast and everything. I, I'm cool. We just. Nah, I'm just cool. Man. You need to do one two step and leave. No, it depends. If it's a like, 4 a.m. thing and you got something to do the next day, yeah, you're going to have to bounce still. Like, I had to do it for one girl. I remember going to her house a lot um, after a club, maybe, or whatever. Or she'd call me, like, when you're coming around or whatever. Mm-hmm. Do my thing. Uh-huh. I wouldn't stay around. I'd always leave. Really? Regardless if it's 3, 4 a.m. I'm going, man. Mm. Even though I'm drunk. On my birthday, I remember. <laughs> I left the club early around, like, 1 a.m., 1.30 mm-hmm. after... Mm-hmm. after Went to hers, Pam, do my thing for like two. I was like, all right, cool. I slept. Yeah, we get it. You no, did your thing, bro. No, no, no. I slept, Pam again. But the thing is, she thought I'd stay. You're a clown. I was like, she was up you the whole time. You can't and be And she was up giving. the whole time. And I left. I you, said, nah, is, I'm gone. Cause... I think stuff like that is peak. You can't be out here <laughs> giving people false hope. Not just girls. Which was my mistake. Which was my I'm mistake. I'm talking about guys well. too. Some guys be thinking that you're going to stay if you don't, like, do you know what I mean? No, it's my mis- it was my mistake because I just think at the same time, that so. is, like, etiquette. Yeah, it was my mistake. Yeah, you might let them know if it, it, like, I'm literally just here to do my thing. And oh, I was telling that from coming. time. I was telling her from time. I just kept coming back when she called. I know. Now, that's how you get involved in stuff because I feel like with situationships, one person is always going to catch feelings. That's just how it uh, is. Uh, yeah. I just know that I'm a very emotional person which is, which is really and I get bad. attached very easily. So that's why I'm complete. This year, I'm completely removing myself from situations like that. I'm like, stuff like this only ends up with me in tears. So. No, it's good though. It's good you're emotionally aware. Yeah, it sucks though. No, no, no. I can't do anything fun because I just know if you're going to make yourself upset. Wait, what? I can't do anything fun because I'm just going to be like, this is that's not you a good situation. You can do fun stuff. I do just... fun stuff, but I feel bad afterwards. So nowadays, I'm just trying to stop doing stuff that I used to do because it just makes me upset. I right. I feel worse about certain Have you things. tried... Oh, I was going to say something else, but no. Don't worry about it. Have that. I tried what? Uh, I was going to say something else, but no. Um, I was going to think. I was trying to think. it, But no, I just... What is just that? Kind... Huh? Sorry, I just hear something. Oh, from the next video. Um... Or from upstairs, because they got events upstairs, the clubs down there, the old clubs down there, so they might be doing it. Where is this? This is the old police station. This is the old police station? Yeah. Shit, when you brought me up in here, I was just like, they're bet- I better open the door and see like four guys with knives. No, this I this is the, ready to run. I don't know This you. is the old interrogation room. The old interrogation room? Yep. That's nuts. Yeah, we just there have been it. murderers in this room. How many murderers do you think you've met in your life? <sighs> Apparently, you for your whole life, for like your whole life, probably, you probably, will pass at least eight murderers. Probably, under ten. You have met around ten murderers. Under ten, yeah. Under ten. I feel like I've, I've definitely walked past like maybe one or two people. I live in London. <laughs> oh, <laughs> should geez. be going down. Man said one to two a day. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm thinking I've def, I've most definitely have met one or two murderers. No, nah, but like maybe I'm saying it. In Sorry, the this sense is stuff of... I think about. No, no, that's no, fine. I think <laughs> I think I'm thinking about in the sense of like having murderous tendencies like you think pe- you have murderous tendencies no like people that i've met i've met people that have murderous tendencies oh 
That's what like they could, they could be a murderer. Yeah. They don't know murderer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I people, know people like that. Uh, you're just like... You got to keep them on your you, side. You could, be, you could be a murderer, you I'm know. Not, I'm a woman. I'm not trying to have my neck broken. Mm. No, my mum always says, if you're ever in a situation with a man that you don't feel safe, you should be very nice to him. <laughs> Stroke his ego and then run. Dead ass. Stroke his ego, you Dead know. Dead ass. Nah, don't, don't, but I'm just saying in general, don't never be stroking no man's ego. I will if I don't feel safe. No, no, but I'm just saying, no, let's say you're... Don't stroke a man's ego. I think you can stroke... Mm. I think you can stroke a guy's ego you if could he's lead like your them man. On. Men, like... are, men are... He can easily be led on, so... No, no, no. I'm, to, I'm talking about if it's like your boyfriend. No, I'm, then you can I'm big just... up his ego. Because with... Mm, with uh... the guys... I've, no, with the guys I've dated, I like to... Like, my, I remember my brother said to me once that, like, if that's your guy, you shouldn't do anything to make him, like, not feel confident about himself. Because... People forget that guys don't feel okay. guys get insecure as well. Okay. So that's why I'm just like, if you, I'm dating you, I get you. But all I'm saying is that before I was with my ex, he was like an all right guy. But afterwards, you posted up. I made you the man that you are today because of the Energy? confidence and the love that I gave you, one hundred percent. Yeah, you to both of my exes. You, you, if you made them, I put them. I put well, them actually, no. Wait, on the wait, map. wait. Dude. I'm trying to think that, if that statement's true. Really, I think you can make people. I think my friends have made I me. I think my damaged. friends have made me the man I am today. Uh huh. Due to the fact that I've not been in a serious relationship. You can have people. You can have. There are people that I'm not the same because girl women make their men. Well, for the most part, I think they do. Some do. Some do. But certain people in your life will make you, and I was one of the people that made. You were saying them you're probably men. the main one of the main people. Definitely. That's fine. And for a fact, I don't care. You were probably things. together for. You said. You said. Just before like uni? a year? No, no, no. It was like during uni. Oh, okay. So, you'd, so you'd come since, down here. So, you, so just around, yeah, okay. Right around a year. How long were we together? That's fine. So we got together in October 2000. Um, Man's giving time frames. I like this. 18. October 2018. October? Yeah, 2018. That's yeah. already during uni times. Man was hoeing out with some shit by no, then. No, 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 no. We were at school. I'm only in my second year of uni. No, but I'm just saying in general, some some usually some of us guys usually during that time of September, during October, man, them are hoeing out. Bro. No, no, I'm saying how long we were together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Wait, I counted this wrong. No, no, no. We got together in two thousand and seventeen. That's longer than. I know, like right, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, That's eight, number. nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. What is seventeen months? Seventeen months. That's close to about a year and a half. Yeah. Seventeen take away. Yeah, that's close to about a year and a half. Twenty and Just under. Months. Just, a, just ju- under a year. Just and under. Just under a year and a half. Especially when you're growing up as well, it makes things like weird. Oh yeah, you said you were best friends before the whole. Thing. No, no, we weren't best friends before, but we were like. We were real close when we were together. Do you know what I mean? I'm okay. sick of talking about my ex. I'm not gonna lie, cause I'm getting angry. Oh, cool. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Shout out to my man, in it. Honestly. <laughs> Shout out to my man, cause you're you're just moving bookkeeping, man. That's how I see it. Well, I think it's because I'm older as well. I just notice things. I'm like, that, that was I already. I never flag. get myself in a situation like that again. That's fine. You, so I'm not dealing with you, people anymore. You can't. You just manifest it, and you'll be fine. This was me, literally. I was just like. No, no, just manifest it. You'll be alright. And I don't need to have too many friends. But well, what's one for Ghana, though? Oh, my God, Ghana was lit. You should have been there. Everyone, you should have been there. Well, not everyone has told me, but um, my friend last week, she's um, she does content creation. She's, and one of her, one, one of my other friends was there as well with her. They were telling me, like, Ghana was just manic. Like Ghana was insane. The lit, traffic was lit. crazy. But it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Like, I learned a lot about myself. It was just, like... It was just night. Nice, you, know, you know when you just leave the country or just leave the space you're occupying mm. like you can feel so much better like for me london was where i had a lot of my problems but then coming to bristol was like i could have some air and breathe but then when all of bristol this kind of lit yeah bristol's bristol's fun it's not dead like but yeah. then when but then <laughs> when what's it called <laughs> I mean, it's, it's got its moments, but if you're not Listen, into, if you're not into day, D&B and K, 
pet, then nah, it's nah, kind of nah. hard to find stuff to nah, do. No, no, no. But if you were with us, like during our party times, we had like the old white parties, no sleep, all them like nah, certain you other clubs. You ain't catch me at them. We or... were, we were on. Wow, those were some. Great I'm always times, in bed by at least two thirty. I'm always in bed by two thirty. Nah, but I'm just I saying. I can't go. You have people that can go on. No, no, but I'm just saying in general, like the stuff that we were doing, like club wise, that like, we had stuff to do and getting, we were just crazy. We, we don't really have much. It's not we really had much. crazy. We had just for the type of music that, like, the music scene that I like, like R and B, hip hop. Yeah, that's soul, what we were on. All that stuff. We, we There's were not really on much that, to do in Bristol. Like, it's all D and B and techno. It and if that's you your music, that's fine. What, what yeah, there doing? are places you can go, but I don't go to any of the places that play D and B and techno and stuff. It's either D and B and techno or pure two thousand cheese. I have nothing. I I like cheese. cheesy cheese. Cheesy music. Oh, cheesy. Okay. Yeah, like that is a new term. I was like cheese uh, music. No, nah, I'm. I'm uh, just educating. Yeah, go um. Educating the masses. Uh, what what what's, what's, what parties are coming up soon? What uh, parties are coming up soon? There's a Sunday party coming up at the beginning of March. Mm. They they play hip hop R and B. I know the people that I know. Um, one of the guys that do photography for it. Hit me up, then. Um, I might pull up to that unless I'm in London though, because I go to Sunday parties up there. Um, oh my god, you're so cool. <laughs> um, a lot of people think I'm a Londoner, but I'm like, fam, I just go back and forth. You go back and forth quite a lot. Yeah, because of podcasts and other events and all that. Mm-hmm. Networking events and other stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, what else is there? Obviously, they had the Captain Conan thing uh, mm-hmm. last week. Last was it last weekend? Mm-hmm. Or was it yesterday? I don't know. No, it was yesterday. Was it? Yeah, they had the show in Bristol yesterday. Oh yeah, they did. Yesterday they had the after party. Um. They're my old place. Um, that was after party. Was that like Opa? Uh, yeah. Opa, bruv. <laughs> yeah. Man, uh, fuck Opa. Um, Always making me wear heels and shit. I hate I've wearing heels. I've never worn like anything. Heels. <laughs> I've never worn anything like Max Hardware. Because you have to get dressed. Because it's like you got to get dressed up. And it's like, yeah, sun- uh, the, the, I think the Sunday I'm not going to lie. Sometimes the bear you look, you can just I think the Sunday one, in. you'd be all right. I think the Sunday day party, you'd be all right. I'm just working up in trainers. They, they, they would, yeah, trainers are cool. Yeah. Every every event I've been to, like parties or whatever, and especially in London, I've never dressed up properly. I've, always I've only trainers. ever been out in London twice. <laughs> you need to party with me. Nah. I don't like... I you don't, need to party with me. Because... The way I am, I know I would hate clubbing in... Actually, I've been out in London about three times. I just know myself. I don't... I won't like clubbing in London. And I've been clubbing in London. It's not even a club thing. We, we, That's the thing. I just prefer to vibe do you know what i mean yeah that's and what, where i go to I, vibe that's... yeah when i'm talking about going out i'm talking about like going out oh i don't to... go out that much i, I go i go nev- the max i'd go out probably is like sunday parties like during the day that's it i'm done really done I, by 12 i'm i'm at home sleep I i'm like good that. like, like i'm 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 good like i don't I, really be doing that. like i remember like during the summer uh-huh. so, so, some some people i know Doing day parties like um, at a rooftop, a rooftop party. Ooh. Like during the day, it'd be like love six to twelve. Roo- love a good rooftop party. Can't rooftop party is lit. Party. That was that was one of the littest rooftop parties I've been to. Summer, yeah. Summer's always lit. Summer was lit this year. Thank you, global warming, for giving us a bit of sun. I enjoyed it. What about um? I was working for Carnival? it. Can't know I did it. What Notting Hill or no? Bristol? I went to Notting Hill. One hundred percent. But Bristol, I really want to go to St. Paul's Carnival. You and I up. can't even go this year. Why? I'm so... Because I'm going to be in China. Oh, you're going to be in China for a year? I'm going to be in China for two months in the summer. I'm working there. Oh, that's sick. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I got internship. Oh, that's lit. What, for uh, business? Business or No, no Brist- um, my university does this, like, internship for students um, who want to, like, travel to China, so they're paying for everything. If you're I poor think, enough. I think... Um... So, yeah, then I get to pick, like... A- company and i'm gonna pick i play a media company because you know your girl wants to be on tv one day so uh-huh. yeah that's it that's it is that the main goal for you then like, that to do, to do, is to do the TV? ultimate goal i want to be a tv presenter what do or you like do a political correspondent what do you what do you study in um, uni i do sociology so okay. I just I'm angry about stuff. Kinda, kinda i'm currently doing ethnicity and racism when i tell you i leave that lecture <laughs> pressed Every, I'm, no, but well, I, I get, I get, I get, I get it. it but... TV presenter, sociology, studying, yeah, yeah. Uh, being be, being socially aware. Yeah, I get yeah, it. you gotta be socially aware. I get it, but um, like, uh, with when it comes to, I get the whole traveling thing as well. That's really good as well because you kind of get to see 
another side as well. China's a bit of um, sticky right now because of the obviously. Yeah. Obviously, we're trying not right to now. catch that Wuhan. Yeah, they um, <laughs> that Corona. Yeah, they got um, they got two, they got two cases right now in the UK. I think it's gonna be fine. Everyone think, out here is pressed. Was Remember, it two? The way the media like, I don't know, pro- man. like, we just left. Presents... We, we just left the EU in it, so car, it's a yeah. bit sticky still. I don't even care about that. But hopefully, once the NHS gets sold, I'm moving to Canada. Or when World War Three breaks out, I'm going to Ghana. I'm vibing yeah. there. Canada's the way. Honestly, wave. Canada is the yeah. way forward. You've been Canada. You've been Toronto. No, but I know it's I'd lit. like it there. It's lit. I know for a fact I like Canada, and I know for a fact Canada would like me too. No, so Toronto's lit. Maybe yeah. I'll go work there. Maybe I'll become the face of Canada. Who knows? No, Toronto's lit. Toronto. Toronto's Shout out to my people in Toronto, man. They're lit. lit. Met some good peoples out there. Mm-hmm. I could have. Oh, I missed out on so so many parties as well. I was like, fuck. While I'm there yeah, as well, you know. I'm, I'm like, wait, why am I missing this party? And why am I this is this party? I'm like, fuck off, I bro. Feel like with... I missed me. I think it was. I missed a. Was it a third party? No, it was like. I think it was like a Playboy Carty party or something. I'm. I'm that not too sure. Peak. Uh, you know, uh, some, you one of them. One, you know, like, one of them lils. One of them lils. One of the, it's one of them lils. One of them lils had a big ass popping song or something. I, uh-huh. I, I missed one of their parties. Because it was um while I was out there, it was Toronto Film Festival, so a lot of celebrities were around. Uh-huh. So I missed out on that, but I was still I got into I got into some parties like uh, some events like met some Netflix people, met some uh, movie people. That's um, what else? Yeah, but met some DJs, met some met a dope magician. Yeah, he fucked my head up. I, met, mate, I don't trust magicians. Magicians. I don't trust my magicians. Up. Shout out to my man, but you fucked my head about up, About to get all... Um, met some good inspirational people as well. I don't like trust creatively. spirits up in here, honestly. Yeah. Sorry, I can't go two minutes without looking at my phone. Oh, no, hey, it's fine. <laughs> I'm such no a... No big deal. I'm such a slave to... No, we to, addicted to our phones as well. We are 100% addicted to our phones. I'm just out well, here um, like... Yeah, met some good inspirational people. Oh my God, people. I've got four messages. People actually love you. <gasps> Oh, love yay. you or me? No, me. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Oh. <laughs> you said you love, love you. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> But nah, no. yeah, Toronto is lit, man. Toronto is hopefully. I I want to go back so soon. I was meant to go last this this past year, but finances. This wasn't happening. Yeah, they got me started on finances. Nah, finances did not let me, man, because I wanted to go to Carabana, but, mm-hmm. but they wouldn't let me. I still got to go to Notting Hill. Carabana's their um carnival. Mhm. And it's. No, it sounds. That lit, sounds man. crazy. Uh, well, I spoke to locals the summer before, and they were yeah, like, like, "It's it alright, re- it's uh, it's not really man." Compared to back in the day, I'm like, "All right, cool," but come to Notting Hill now, you ain't ready, bro. I'm showing the videos and that. They were like, "Yo, we should be going here for carnival." Sorry, my flatmates are just like, "Ah, where's this?" And I'm just like, oh, God, it's under the sink." <laughs> <laughs> not engaging yeah but you know the ones when you just want to sorry I wasn't listening you know the ones you just want to leave the group chat you're just like oh my god like, I don't they're not engaging about brain. bills they're not engaging brain mm-hmm. they weren't engaging brain like their mind oh no, no. at the time not really <laughs> <laughs> oh shit so yeah I'm since hungry. we've done bad shit already to talk about what else is there to talk about bro can uh, we order food can we food? can, but there's Taka Taka's nearby, so we can do it after. Yeah, All right, I'll have cool. to do that one still. Oh, Slim Chickens. Um, slim Chicken? I never know Slim Chicken was that. You don't know what Slim Chicken is? No. Nope. I'll take you there. Is it good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to pay? Huh? Pardon? <laughs> Pardon? You're going to pay? Pardon? Do you think I'm not Do you think I'm not paying for the studio time? I mean... <laughs> Stay calm over there, bro. Stand I mean, down. you can get I yourself took, nice. I took time out of my day, to, even though I was late. <laughs> so I'm there, sorry. That, what there then? I'm sorry. What I'll, we pay, did? I'll pay you about thirty minutes for that. Because <laughs> I, I, I was that actually late. That's expensive. Boy. That was that was my fault. That thirty minutes is expensive. That was like boy. actually my fault. Nah, that's all good though. But now what else is there? Oh, oh. I was just chilling in bed, and you're just. I was literally about to fall asleep. I was so tired. Because I've been you out forgot. the night before. You didn't put it in your planner or I did put it in my planner, but I, don't, I read it today. Sticky. I was just like, chilling. Then I just get a message from you like, oh yeah, the studio's been booked. Oh, I'm in the studio right now. I was said, fuck. My God, just quick, you know. I just, I just really quickly. <laughs> at least, at least any four. Is there any way we can pause this? Because I want to go to the toilet. Yeah, yeah, I can show you to the toilet as well. 
Whatever. Yeah, but I can't just leave it running. No, that's fine. I'll pause it. I can't stop me. Oh, no. It should be probably another half hour. To- yeah, do you have any other... What, what else do you want to talk about? Uh, there's, there's, there's a few things, obviously. Um, R.I.P. Kobe Bryant. That was peak. Um... And Gigi Bryan as well, and everyone else that was in that um, helicopter. That was actually so upsetting. Um, Umar Johnson, yeah, it. I'm gonna come clean. Umar Johnson's a bit of a sticky one still, even though it's a conspiracy theory. What? For it to do that straight away, I'm what? like, big man. To do what? He's basically saying that the reason, the how he died, the reason he died was because he was in a legal battle with a pharmaceutical, big pharmaceutical, co- pharmaceutical company. Mm-hmm. About the name of Black Mamba. Uh That obviously he is nicknamed out of. That was the legal battle. Uh So that's how. That's why they sabotaged the plane and he died. Now. I get this conspiracy theory. No problem. But to do it on the day. Or the day after he's passing. Is a bit of a red flag. And also. The fact that you're doing outside in a children's playground. Big man. Doing what? On live saying that this is the reason he died. Oh. I'm just like. I haven't seen. I haven't heard or seen any of this. I'm, I'm really just like, bro. I, I I like Omar Johnson because he gives me certain facts of of certain uh history. Who's Omar Johnson? Doctor Omar Johnson. He's a. Uh, he sounds familiar. Yeah, he's a very. Um, he's very pro black. Omar in a, John. you. Yeah, Umar Johnson. I've heard about this guy. He's a clown. Yeah, I, yeah. He's a clown. I get bruv. the. I, I, I'm just, I'm just like, bro. He, I don't know. I don't. He is a clown. Some of the stuff I've heard from. Here's the thing: the way he's one of those people that because they talk and sound really intelligent, people are just like, okay, I'll just, just keep on drinking up that shit. So I'm just kind of like. So when, nah, he's a clown. I don't, I don't think he should be saying any of this stuff in the week that he's passing. Like, Kobe was a person that meant a lot of things to a lot of people. And the way that he died, the nature of his death, mm. and the fact that he was with his daughter and surrounded by other children and families is so gut-wrenching. And this doctor, whoever guy, is using it as an excuse to just promote himself or to be that controversial figure. Yeah, but it's like, well, oh also, he's just made, um, he just got a school. He's got a what? He's got a school. He's making um school to help um uh children of unfortunate backgrounds, especially in an urban community in um in America. I mean that's good for him that but that doesn't mean a chartered school by the way. A that, chartered school. That doesn't mean that he's but not gonna it's, still it's kind no of like it's just a flag on like big man, I'm gonna come clean just cause a lot of people, even though I didn't know Kobe or whatever, but I played the sport. I idolized him as a in mentality after where you present himself and everything else same as other the next generation of basketball players that have come in you cannot tell me that these men were not inspired by Kobe Bryant Mm -hmm. that doesn't impossible he meant a lot to a lot of people and especially in LA the man stayed there in one team for 20 years no man in any sport has ever done that loyalty especially in certain sports so there's only probably a handful how old can you still play basketball until you say no because I know for like a football player like your career ends by like what 26 no and my man stayed until he was 38 yeah 39 that's insane there's, there's an American football player that's in his 40s right now still playing at high level so psh, yeah, no, t- maybe in the UK because I think it's so competitive in the UK it's always like the second you're not really with it no nah, it, it, it it depends injuries as well and everything but that's true it, it's still you say I no. I personally would have been a football player if I hadn't, you know, fucked up my knee. <laughs> ACL tear, yeah. Yeah, it was one of them ones. Sorry, but, um, yeah, I'm gonna it, get signed, but yeah, what to what was it? What's, 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 what's the teams in East London? What's that? South them? East London. So, no, sorry, sorry. Crystal South. Palace. Crystal Palace. Okay. That's the only one I know. So, oh, okay. I don't know that many. I don't watch football like that, so. Me neither. Can't relate. But, I've never um, been to a football yeah, match. but just to me, Umar Johnson, it's, it's a bit of a flag, in it's my a clown. opinion. He's a clown. We're just going to leave it at that. It's, it's a just a flag. Like, the way, as well, obviously, I've heard, like, the reasons why, um, how the death happened, like, the fog. And, I don't, yeah, I don't even want to hear about any of that. I think people, that's what people I'm just, be I'm just about. like, bro, the reason that, the reason why he has helicopters, I was like, that hurt me. 
That mm-hmm. hurt me. The reason he has helicopters? The reason why he goes on helicopters is because... So that he has... He can balance work with family. Yeah. So... Because he'd wake up early in the morning, go train. After that, come back. Uh, because LA traffic is mad. Mm-hmm. Like, takes Just about fly. an hour, two hours. So he takes a helicopter, which takes 15 minutes. Cuts down the time so that he can pick up the kids and... S- drop him to school and then come back to the house get another thing to go train into his media everything for the basketball game come back and then also pick up the kids and then come back and then go work out again that's insane and then come back and then also take put the kids to bed everything else do what he needs to do same thing again routine that's insane so the fact that he was doing that because that he said that during the interview I was like raw like that because no one knew this until I, I didn't know this until I watched the full interview, but uh, which was a year ago, a few years ago. But obviously it's resurfaced. Yeah, resurfaced. The yeah. nature of his passing. Yeah, nature of his passing. And then people were like just saying that and I was just like... That is so upsetting. That hit, that hit me He harder. was taking his daughter to... Um, and a game. A friend, yeah, to, like, to a game. To the game, And I yeah. think what is so upsetting is the fact that, not just about who he was, it just shows you... Because I feel about the way about his death, that I feel about anyone else's death... Is that the f- and that is someone who was taken like too soon? Because what everyone thinks, everyone thinks that they're guaranteed time. You're yeah. not guaranteed time. Like yeah, you are not. It, you could die tomorrow. It's, it's the same with certain other deaths as well for me. Like Nipsey hurt me. That was upset. Cadet hurt me. Cadet was hard. Cadet was hard. That was I'm not even gonna lie. Cadet Cadet was just like. He was the death that got me. That that got like me. A celebrity Mac death. got me. Oh. Mac Miller. Mac Miller. Yeah, Here's the thing, I'm not really with it with like, obviously with Nipsey Hussle, I know as I'm saying, but I've never really like been like proper hurt by like a celebrity dying. I'm like, I've yeah. never been like, oh my God, because all the celebrities that I really do care about and idolise are still luckily, you know, on this yeah. planet. There was one, um, what is this so moist, Corey Monteith. Do you know who that is? No. You ever watch Glee? Yeah. Oh, um, The Great Suicide. And is it, it well, Suicide no, no, he Suicide or he, oh, drug overdose or something? He, drug, he, drug, he had a drug overdose. Yeah. He, what's it the called? The bald guy, right? No, no, no. That's Mark Salen. She was a little... He was, like, arrested for Was this the main, one of the main characters? I'm sorry. Yeah, he was, like, the main there character. Go. There you go, there you go. Yeah. That's the nature of his death. I was just like, oh, my God. That was, like, a celebrity death. I was like, oh, my goodness. That really yeah. got me because I was such a huge fan of the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like I was Glee, I never... Say, I only watched the first season of Glee. Glee is sick. It's on Netflix. I just rewatched it. No, I don't know. Nah, I, need, I still need to watch you. That's how mad it is. Everyone keeps talking about you. I'm it's saving lit. It's lit. I'm saving it for when I get sick. It's lit. You it's know when you're saving series? Nah. I save series. Oh. I'm like, I'm going to watch I've given up on certain sick. animes. I'm done, man. I'm, I'm just... Let me just try and watch. The only anime I've busy. watched... I'm too busy. Is what's it called? Um, Avatar. Yeah, the Last Airbender. You haven't watched Avatar The Last Airbender? I've watched it, obviously, but I it's gave up after two sick. seasons. It I'll is so good. I gave up. Even they had the little spin-off as well. I was like... Oh, The Legend of Korra. Yeah. I haven't watched that. Because everyone it. says that it's really bad and I just don't want to even like think about yeah, it. Because it. it's but such... For as, me, it's like... As a per- dickhead. As a dickhead for myself as well. I watched the flipping film that they made of it. I was like... Oh sake. my God, I heard that was so bad. Fuck I heard sake, that was bro. cast really badly. Fuck I heard sake. that they went off the... They didn't do like the proper characterizations, yeah. which is why the show yeah. is yeah. so good. Yeah. Back, back to the NBA though. Fuck NBA because you're a fucking pagan. Who's Whoever NBA? runs NBA because what happened? They did not stop the games on the day of Kobe's passing. That's a flag. I don't care about that because you man, you let the whole of the basketball community that watch this game mm-hmm. with pride and joy mm-hmm. watch the people cry during the national anthem, during the bench while playing the game. You lot of fuck. Yeah, they really should have cancelled that game. Also, and they should have given it like a week's morning no, time. That like um the team that Kobe played for the Lakers recently yeah. had. A, a, they just had a game, didn't they? Yeah, yesterday they um they rescheduled the game, um so because of the it's so sad. and um, they rescheduled the game and LeBron made a speech. Um, I need to find this. No, nah, that speech was good because yeah, because they were like brothers, mm-hmm. isn't it? They were very, yeah, very they played close. um. Olympics together how and everything. Did they, how long did they play together for each other? Not only certain. No, nah, no, they didn't play together in the same team. Oh, did they not play together for nah, the same team? No, they were team? played as rivals. Oh, but they. But I've heard um, Kobe say that they were extremely... Um, they were close because they obviously played in the Olympics together, played in um, the World Cups together, like internationally. 
obviously they're big names anyway and they're close uh-huh. behind the scenes regardless like certain other players as well uh-huh. um even kobe's men since his retirement he mentored like over 10 players uh-huh. he's mentored bare pe- Bear players behind the scenes. Oh my god! You know his wife was with him since like the age of like twenty one. Yeah, no, eighteen. Eighteen. I th- I believe eighteen, seventeen, eighteen. Oh um, my just, god! So, so obviously, even though he had he had the allegations and stuff, she still stuck with him. So Damn, that's son. why this is hitting a bit more harder. Like the like during during the ceremony of people get uh, honoring him, uh-huh. you can see all the players. Wearing both his jersey numbers. Oh, uh, were they? And also wearing his shoes because he Kobe had his own shoe line with mm-hmm. Nike. Every player wear a shoe, wore shoes. Let me see. Except that. for obviously if there were Adidas and stuff, but everyone else was wearing Nike. Kobe shoes. Yeah. I've never seen his shoes. Here's the thing: I don't really, I don't really know that much about Kobe Bryant. It was just kind of like, oh, Kobe, Kobe. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, when, yeah. well, I saw, I just came back on Sunday. I just come back from what's it called? Um. I was just on a coach back from London and I'm just sitting on the coach and then, no, 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 I just get home. I'm just on my phone and then, like, my news, like, little thing popped up and I clicked on it and I was like, Kobe Bryant dies at 14. I thought it was a joke. I was like, you know them joke news sites? I was like, what? But it was coming from my, like, actual news I found app. Out on Twitter. Mate, I was like, what? Twitter, everyone was tweeting out from Twitter. I was like, what the fuck? I just knocked on my so phone. I'm doing store. bare research. I'm doing bare research now. Uh-huh. And then I told my dad. My dad just flipped. He stopped working my. and he turned on, he turned on um the news. For, my dad um, was heartbroken. My, my dad, dad was proper heartbroken. My, my mom as well. My mom knew about Kobe Bryant. That's how, that's how it is. And then, such a household name. Isn't it? And then, yeah, because that he was one of the reasons I played ball as well. So Look, that it's just hard. taught me, this situation has just taught me, you're not guaranteed years. Get right with God. You're not promised anything. It's very, very Live sad. life, man. It's life. Live it's life to the fullest. Life is and um, what else as well? Try and live a leg, build a legacy. I don't think you have to have a well. legacy to like be important. Do you know what I mean? No, I, I'm saying just build Water a legacy is... for you, like for people, not the people, but like for your family. I like, think legacy, legacy is a family. bit of a weird word though, because it's kind of like you need some kind of like importance attached to I it. I think a legacy is just in general, like for your family. Say, like, like uh, your family name's a legacy. True. So, that to me is already a legacy, like representing my family name. So, yeah, just re- re- build a legacy for yourself, whether it be personal, whether it be financially, whether it be whatever. Live life. Um, never take anything for granted. Um, that death definitely hit me as same as Nipsey. Definitely. You proper feel it. Yeah. I just, like obviously, I like, think I'm it's because upset. I'm... But I'm just kind of like... I think it's because of... It's, this sounds really bad. No, 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 just, no, no. I'm just being honest. Like, I didn't feel like, oh my God. No, no, no. I think it's... Not everybody feels that way. I get it. Mm-hmm. And I understand it. Mm-hmm. Like, for me, Nipsey was like... I listened to Nipsey's music for oh, yeah, years. Really as big. well as I've studied him in a sense of mentality, business, and certain other movements of, like, how... How just... A, not just a boss, but, like... How person with class and integrity needs to move. Hold themselves. Hold yeah. themselves. Hold, not in a high regard, but just like give off that atmosphere of like, yeah, just move how you move. No, no one and everyone respects how you move. That's, that's it. True. You don't. That's it. But that's with Kobe, true. kind of the same thing, mm-hmm. but in the sense of like sport mm-hmm. mentality, mm-hmm. focus, yeah. and other things. So I'm just saying this from my point of view. Not mm-hmm. everyone's gonna. There's more people that have different views of how they respect Kobe and, and how Kobe influenced them. And some people, like yourself, like not, not even though don't know much about Kobe or the sport, um, you see certain things of how he dies on, and certain you're getting more knowledge. You yeah. didn't know, you just didn't know about his wife. They've been together since they were eighteen. So it's insane. But as you, as certain, a lot of stuff has obviously surfaced and stuff. Like you didn't know he he did a tune with Destiny's Child. Like you didn't know that you did. This is what Piss I mean. Like, off. No, nah. that is a death that I would take to the heart, though. If Beyonce died, yes, is what I mean. Oh my god, this is what I mean. though that, that's someone that I look up to. If Beyonce was to pass, yeah, like God, these forbid. these people that I've listed, like a cadet, uh, and Mac Miller, I'd cry. It's, they, I would. They, they, they hit. It hits, I'd be hits. devastated. Yeah, it hits. It hits. <laughs> but yeah, nobody even. Not a lot of people know that Kobe Bryant had a song with Destiny Child. Yeah, he raps as he rapped as well. 
It's a remix. Yeah. Hold on. Fuck! 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 Come on. You're a clown. Come on. Come on, man. Hold on, hold on. Don't, yeah, don't, don't copyright me, though. Don't copyright me. <laughs> oh, wait. You get, oh, this, you're getting shot for copyright? Yeah, yeah, bro. Oh, you're going to have to mute that nah, out. No, no, it's all good. But as long as it's not long, Still. it's not long, it's not long, it's not long. But yeah, man. No, look, you see? As, as I just showed you now, two two new things that you didn't know about That's copyright. That's insane. So. I love Destiny's Child. Yeah, so hopefully. He was on Destiny's Child videos. He was on... Uh, I remember that movie that he made, though. What was it? It was like the basketball movie. Oh, yeah, to teach uh, kids to play basketball, yeah. No, but there was another one. Wasn't it like He got space... Grammy. After... He got Grammy? Oscar, sorry. Wasn't it like Space... Space Jam. Space Jam. That's Michael Jordan. It's Michael Jordan. There you go. Oh, I love Space Jam. Yeah, he was a Michael Jordan. But Apparently, what? they're making another one, so. Oh, really? Another Space Jam with LeBron. But, um, yeah. That's, that's what I hope everybody learns from. I, I think a lot of people have learned from it. Mm-hmm. Like, obviously, just seeing people kind of, like, not mourn properly was a bit mad. Oh, my God, he had a rape case. Yeah. Did not know that. Yeah, yeah. He had a rape case. He had a divorce. Really? He was going to divorce um his girl, isn't it? I'm just reading this article about... How would Kobe Bryant's 2003 rape case have fared in the Me Too, hashtag Me Too era? This is what I mean. Why are you... We already know about the case, but why are you bringing it up after his the death man again? dies. I think that's a bit... I mean, I don't this think just because bit... someone's dead that means that they should be, like, exempt from judgment... I know I some people you. would find that like disrespectful, but in my eyes, just because he was well respected and loved, that doesn't mean and I get that you, you yeah. Accept... Yeah, I, I get you on that. I think maybe the timing of this article may have been a bit. Mm, you could have left that for a couple months. Not enough for months. It's already been known since for for all the research. It's already been known for time. We already knew he was almost losing 150 million. Oh, for, for for a divorce, we already knew he had a pending uh, uh old rape uh rape charge. That's just the na- already, that's no, just geez. the that's just the um what's it called the media the nature of the media, isn't it? Yeah, but- it's just annoying though because we already, I think it's because no as you as we just just showed now kind of wow. he's you're not really a basketball fan, and you don't know anything a lot about obviously what Kobe Bryant has done. Yeah, for, I didn't know any of this. So so yeah. Let me see. It's it's I get it's knowledgeable, but. It's just a flag of, yeah, it's just kind of mad. It's just kind of mad, like, just to do certain things. Yeah, I don't think that I, I personally don't like this whole, like, oh, that dad, like, you shouldn't say that. And I'm just like, I mean, obviously, the nature of his death is extremely sad, especially in regards to his daughter and in regards to the other families involved, too prayers go out to them but I just don't think that just because you look up to someone doesn't mean that they can't but like, would you bring it up in the fact that would you still bring it up the fact that um you say the what if thing bring I mean up that's, I mean it's an, I mean I that's an, an article that I'd read because things mm. ha- in our world have changed you know what I mean there's certain things mm-hmm. you could do in 2003 that you cannot do now thank god yeah of course so of course I get it but it's just because, like, it's also the case of, like, you know, I don't want to bring up this guy's name, but I have to, in it. Just an example, like... Um, Who, Michael Jackson? No. He definitely did it. No, no. Oh, yeah, we it. already knew this. He definitely did not it. Not that, uh, like, he's not passed yet. Um, R. Kelly. Like, R. Kelly, his music has been off. But and... we've but we've known this... Ho- I like, didn't I'm know. Just talk- I'm, to- I'm talking about... In the time of like yeah. why his music, we know we've known these stories, we've known everything, and yet we still love his music. We still I co- co- put him as a king of R and B. My generation, anyway, put him as a king of R and B. You're not that much older than me. I was listening to the same shit. No, but I'm just saying, like, that's a generation already, like before the nineties. I mean, here's the thing: I do not like to, I do not separate the artist and the art. Some people are like, this is what I, I mean. do. I personally don't because the art that they're producing that whatever you're doing whether you're streaming it listening to it watching it downloading it whatever you are putting money in that person's I pocket I can't listen to Ali in the heart and wealth it's so upsetting listen to AJ nothing but a number is no 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 I, I, that's the time I don't listen to 
I, I don't No, listen. but it's like I'm I can't to listen like to Michael Jackson now reason. anymore because listen to him sing about saving the ch- all the children of the world. <sighs> and we all know what he was going up to. Like, mm. So, like, you are putting money in that person's pocket to allow them to um, continue to uh, use their wealth and status mm. to abuse people. And these people are usually women or and or of colour. So... I don't like to it's separate mad. the artists too much from the. It's mad. From, I don't like to separate the artists. I from feel the bad art. for obviously, like certain people that still judged even though they've, they've said like they've changed. Like I'm just saying, not in that sense. Like R. Kelly. I like, think you should. I'm talking be. about like I'm talking about like maybe, m- mostly like Chris Brown type of thing, like domestic violence. That's but a sticky one. That still. that's I'm that's really that's the most stickiest one. one I'll go for. But the it ones is that we've known, confusing. the ones the ones that we've known for time, and he, my man has never gone jail. It's crazy. That's already it's crazy. It's it's actually upsetting because it's just like we've when people are like you can I believe that people can change one hundred percent. I'm not the same person I was three years ago. I'm complete one eighty. Maybe not complete, but <laughs> it's like it's just hard. The one thing that I don't like nowadays is like when like people are already like when the internet is basically judge, jury, and executioner now. Well, Once um, the internet finds culture. out about something... Cancel culture. Cancel culture. It's just too rash. You know what I mean? Mm. It's real, real rash. Ugh. So... But it can't be helped, though. It can't be helped. We built it. I mean, to be honest, I put, when people are like, oh, the world's too PC, and I'm just like, I'd rather it be PC than not PC. If everyone thinks that PC culture... I think PC culture is about respect. Like... I don't. I, if everyone's like, as a generation, we're too sensitive, and I'm just like, I right, calm. I'd rather be sensitive than be allowed to be called an N word in the street. Like, if I gotta maybe say a couple words or not say this or not say that, I'm completely fine with that. Honestly, I think people see certain hear certain things, and they're just like, oh, well, we well back then you could do this and you could do that, and no one had a problem with that it. And I'm just shit. like, yeah, and women were being raped by their husbands until 1991, and it wasn't illegal, so shut up oh my god <laughs> stuff like that makes me so annoyed it's like people love all the benefits that they have of life today but can't mm. accept the like can't accept like the things that like need to be in place to yeah. ensure that everyone is safe and it's, people usually be complaining so what, other so ones who are white what are you views with um what do you call it um oh, what's it called um I don't know if you watched this documentary of, of Reggie Yates talk, um, looking at... Um, I haven't watched it. No, it, it's mainly about like how men feel when men... Masculinity. Toxic masculinity. Not toxic masculinity. It's more about like... It, it's more like they feel like the the men's issues are not really being touched in law, in society in general. Um, so D- Reggie Gates made a documentary about that specific one. So there was I'm like I'm not trying to sound I'm not trying to like be hateful or like be controversial, yeah. but like everything is about men. Like our whole society I is know. built. And then no, 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 our whole society is literally built on the progression and on the like care of men. If men had periods, it'd be a fucking Olympic sport. Honestly, like mm. it really like I'm not saying that men don't go through things. Obviously, men suffer from mental health issues too, all of that stuff, and this needs to be addressed. But what people fail to understand is that they think that feminism is about just females being equal it's about everyone being equal so once certain things are tackled by once certain things against women are tackled the other side will straighten itself out people will be like oh ugh, it just irritates me like you definitely need to watch it i think i think you i definitely just, will watch it. i'm because, not saying because, men don't go for anything yeah. but no 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 it, it, but the way those people view masculinity are very... They've been crafted by the patriarchy and once this is it's, all knocked it's down, not, it's especially not, in the way... Some of them aren't even British. That's how mad it is. Really? Yeah. It's, it's, it's Masculinity like... all over the world. No, the whole... I'm not talking about this Britain. The whole world... Yeah, yeah but I'm just... Like, the way I just look at it, I was just like... I'm sorry, if the women ran the world, we'd have this because they have their own, in a year. Their whole, they have their own societies, like, online and everything, and I'll just look... Oh, like, and th- where they, like, hate on women? No, it's not hate on women, but it's just, like... They're, they're not hating on women. They're just like, they want men's, certain mes- men's issues to want to be discussed Mate, as well. Everything is... This that's, sounds, that's, ha- this sounds they, controversial, but everything is men's issues. Beca- oh because days, the, way, is the only issues. reason why they believe that women's issues have taken over the conversation right now. What do you mean taken over the conversation? They which, were never is, in the conversation. That, when people is, get annoyed or which upset... Which is weird, which is weird. Which people is weird. get annoyed and upset about like, 
oh, all of these women are starting to complain. Women been complaining. We just never had a platform. Big man, I, I'm gonna come clean. Why were uh, why were we forcing women to make um weapons and match discussion during the World War when we could have had someone else, bro? Hmm. Like during the war, we mostly were women were making the bullets. Yeah, women stuff. were and um, women were working. Yeah, because they had to because it was a total war. Yeah, but then back before then we. What men were like, nah, that will never happen, da, 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 and stuff like that. Like, and that's the case as well in certain other cultures. Like, they don't want women to be working. They don't want women doing this. That, working, that's... But women are... now, it's changed. Twenty 20th century, twenty first century. Like, it's changed. Like women are, are CEOs, run, CEOs of their own businesses. But even then, it's like stuff. four times as hard. And that's just talking about white women. When you're a woman of color. It's way Shit, harder. like it's way harder. Shout out to the women that have gone through, that have gone past it though. Mm. Like the women that own shubs. It's very, very true. The one who own, own women's own, uh, own shubs. Um, uh, certain women that have their own um, events companies, marketing companies, mm-hmm. PR, Vamp. Shout it's out not to easy, Vamp. Yeah. Shout out to Vamp as well. Um, there are a group of women that have their own PR company that they um, run themselves. That's interesting. Run themselves, but they they promote black entrepreneurs to get to where they need to be where, I love no that. no get to events like oh, show really? face and events like they i think they just got people like in um uh i think prey, birds of prey the recent another film oh. queen, queen and slim oh um i think they did um 21 bridges i think they did as well uh certain other certain other films but they were a part of that pr thing saying you want these influencers to be here because to show that there it's not just white people. It's just it's true. It's not just people of color. Are yeah, it, in it, it every exists. Single, yeah. yeah, they're so, in every single level. Yeah, and, helping it, out. and they're more, sometimes they're more popular than the ones that you would usually invite, anyways. Mm-hmm. So psh, run it. <laughs> so shout out to those girls because they they're running the thing like mad. The way I've seen that like, is sick. that is just running the thing. Um, who, there's a woman that just um, did a event with Facebook, I believe. A friend of mine went there. It was mainly for women in gaming. Oh, like, cool. playing, like, FIFA, working with FIFA. I think they had li- literally a woman that works with FIFA, like, making the game. Like, programming, everything. So I was just like, that's cold. Um, like, when, there's a podcast about women talking about football. Like, there's there's, there's so many. And I'm thinking about it, and I'm like, women are so, like, powerful in general anyways where they just made the stand of not caring about what men say it, 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 that should have happened time ago but though like it's still difficult people think that oh women get everything they want no no we don't bruv like it's actually growing up and being a girl is not easy I'll just leave it at bruv, that bruv I couldn't take the fact that you take five hours to get ready that that already is a flag for me so I'm like five hours to get, that's bullshit I know boys who take that is a stereotype when like girls have it's because society expects us to look good all the time, so that's why. It makes oh yeah, it a of bit course, longer. of course, I know it, I know it. But I know, I know boys when guys are like, oh, girls take so long to get ready. Like a, and I'm just like, a girl I know. I know for a fact you take longer to get ready than I do. I take, I take like, like, like a girl I know. She's like, oh, I, I have to go to this to ball. She told me I have to go to this ball on the weekend. I'm like, also, oh. it's getting a little late, and I might need to. Yeah, do no, I'm just finishing the sentence. Now. Yeah, it's just the sentence. Um, yeah, she had um, she has a ball to go to or something like a ball. Yeah, like oh, like. Like gown and everything <laughs> no like like I think it's like a business event or something okay. um, she has to wear a gown and everything she takes her long to get ready for it before, okay. so she can't meet me and stuff like that so I was like okay. I get it because psh, you got a lot to do the way br- bruv like the way, the way that some of these bitches would look and be, be looking at for the Oscars and all them things that, that does not take but, well, how long car. it's just because people are going to judge you more but it is people treat you better if you look better it it's mad it but it's the way we live in it's it extremely is it is. vain but um, yeah thank you for coming though thank you for having me sorry like I've been like yeah I need to dip because like I do I'm tired <laughs> And I need to go see my mate. That just makes me like, where are you? And I'm just like, I'm kind of like the food's getting cold. And I want to start eating without you. And I'm like, like they can't put it in the microwave for you, bro. Like, uh, I said, be... the ice thing. You know, you don't want to spend too much time with someone. Like, I wanted to see them eat my dinner and then like go home because <laughs> I'm tired. So I need to go and be like, hey. like they're gonna watch this, you know? <laughs> like oh shit! Watch this. Hey. <laughs> But you know what I mean? Like, I've been out all day. I didn't get any sleep last night. Like, I'm tired. Do you know what I mean? Where did you go? Fucking hell. I went to a party, bro. What type of party is this? But yeah. It was um, a good party. 
Yeah, yeah, it's fair. Okay. Thank but, you for having me. I had a really good time. Yeah. Very interesting conversation. So, um, iTunes, SoundCloud, Spotify, Kith and Kim podcast, um, YouTube, Thursdays and Sundays, Kith and Kim podcast. Those visuals will be out maybe during the day or whatever. So, subscribe to that. Live show 2020. Uh, that's on plans. Uh, what else are we plugging? I don't know what I'm doing with myself. Birthday's next week, innit? Because, boy, man's turning old and I'm partying a lot, so... Hey, it happens. Catch, catch, I've invited you and your friends, whatever. Oh, Just come yeah. through. Come for your drinks. Um, cause if there's I, but, free drinks and food, I'm there. Nah, that can't run stuff. Oh, wow, you right have to pay for your, It's two for one, though. But you just How much it. is entry? It's free entry, bruv. It's Where just is drinks. It? Total pay. Total pay? Yeah, oh, two for calm. one drinks. Oh, that's calm. Oh, calm. My yeah, flatmate yeah, works there. Put, huh? My flatmate works there. I'm oh. not paying for nothing. Yeah, run the drinks. House rocking. Um, what you call it? Um, plug your podcast as well, by the way. Oh, yeah. Check out my podcast, The Disrespect, on uh Spotify. I think it's on iTunes. Anchor dot com. The search of the disrespect. Do you use Anchor mainly? Yeah, I use Anchor mainly. Oh, I've, I've, I've been trying to look through that. Actually. Anchor's good. It's very like simple. Do you know what I mean? I use SoundCloud. So. Are you SoundCloud? Yeah. I prefer Anchor. I just feel like it kind of gets my stuff out to the masses. And yeah, mine does. It tracks my stuff and people are like... Mine's on Google they... Play. We're on Google Play. Shout out Google Play. I just feel like... Shout out to a... Guap, Guap Magazine. We're on their site as well. That's Shout out to cool. Guap. Shout out to the owner of Guap. Shout out to you, man. But yeah, we're in there as well. Um, What else is there to plug? Um, I think you've done it all. Is there more? I've, I've got ideas I want to plug, but there's... Uh, they have to pay me. Fuck this shit. <laughs> you know that you just want to plug so come on, like. Uh huh. You know, yeah, you're just like no. Run, run the peas, bro. Yeah, you know I mean. Run the peas, big man. Stay calm. But yeah, um, obviously every Monday. Peace out. To-